Hello, hello. Sorry, just uh, in the middle of the kick-ass intro to this amazing game. Uh, not sure why the, the volume's going off. Please bear with me as I try to get thing get it situated here. It's possible that there was maybe some kind of copyright Teenage violation. Ninja Turtles. Shredder's Revenge. One moment. Almost there. Okay. I think I think we're good. Damn. Here's in a half shell turtle power. Yeah. Man, I love that intro. That is so kick-ass. Um, really spot on for, uh, I think it's Tribute Games. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. To uh, go with the original uh, intro song, but, you know, creating a new animated uh, intro. As I understand it, I, so I've been waiting with bated breath for this game for so long. Um, this is a throwback, as you can see from the pixelated graphics. Uh, hence, I'm, I'm doing it on my Retronathan stream. Um, which, as you may or may not know, um, on Retronathan, I just uh, either play bonafide classics uh, or games that embrace the same kind of aesthetic. So this is definitely one of those games. Um, when I heard about it announced, I was super excited. I mean, this takes me back to arcade days with the, um, the four-player um, original Turtles arcade game. Then, of course, there was the uh, Turtles in Time, the sequel, which uh, those are actually getting their own release in the Kawabunga collection. So, you know, I'm all over that and we'll probably be playing that for Retronathan as well. But um, when I found out this was on Game Pass, I actually I ordered the uh, Super Duper whatever collector's editions from uh, Limited Run Games, of course. Um, I think I bought from another company, too. I'm just so stoked for this. Um, I mean, like I mentioned in my title of the stream, uh, this is like Saturday morning. You know, you in the 80s, you woke up, ate a bunch of sugary cereal, and, and watched uh, a bunch of awesome cartoons. And um, this just embraces that colorful, fun, uh, arcadey kind of aesthetic. And uh, without further ado, I'm going to get cracking here. Let's do OK. I'll sort of figure it out. I'll finish you off myself. Just jab the buttons. Who should I start with? Um, eh. Kind of curious about Splinter, but I'll say save them for later. Maybe I'll just cycle through them as I go. I'll start with the leader, the fearless leader, Leonardo. This is amazing. You can play like six people at the same time. Music is spot on. It's so kooky and fun. <laughs> I 
Where's the gift receipt? Man, these pixelated graphics are amazing. What's up, New York? We interrupt this program to give you chaos. <laughs> the Statue of Liberties. Getting a makeover is gonna look better than ever. Keep it locked here on Bebop Speed. Love these guys. Rocksteady and Bebop. Well, they didn't show Rocksteady. What the shell? Job breaking news. Alright. Do it. Oh. oh yeah, that's right. I think the um the creators of this game also works on the um Scott Pilgrim game and you can you can see it. There's definitely that influence here. Oof. Alright, I should probably pull you around. Okay, that's the back escape kind of button. Just like back in the day, you can like throw them into the screen, which was like mind blowing at the time. It was a nice um, display of um, Mode 7 technology. Stuff just kind of scaled in and out of the screen in a sort of pseudo 3D type of vibe. Oof! It's pizza time guys like jamming on their Game Boys. Oof. Foot Clan just uh, doing their day jobs, I guess. soundtrack, I mean, I was hoping I could pick up that fruit to get some energy, or maybe this chair to throw at somebody, uh oh. Hi. Oh, pizza, yes, That's what I'm talking about, just in the nick of time. Ice each other out. How about that? Oof. Oh, dang. <laughs> Foot Clan getting swole. Oh, let's see. Dang, a charge doesn't even work. Alright. to the screen. There we go. Can't bust into there. 
like, I'll chill with the equipment. That's expensive equipment. Combo there. What? Cool. Boss fight incoming. Charging into his charge. Out, hoy. Go. Looks like another victory for the forces of good. Nice. It's been an achievement. Didn't realize it. Not sure how many stages this has, but I suppose I'll find out. Oh, I love this. This kind of reminds me of the old school um, Ghostbusters game. Big Apple, 3 p.m. <laughs> That's a throwback. What was it? Big Apple, 3, 2 at 3 a.m.? I think in the arcade game. Turtle van. I can't remember if that had a special name or not. Oh, like Ghostbusters has the Echo One. Call it the Shell Mobile. I don't know. Piping hot pizza. Oh, there we go, yes. Love it. over to another turtle and see how I'm sure it's pretty minor. I'll pretty much have the base set of moves.
Reminds me of an old school uh, cartoon called Droopy. I used to smack bad guys around that way. Oof. Same. Sounds like a bad dad joke. Uh oh. Don't run me down, bro. Choices, bro. And I tried to move. Oh, that Oof. Oh, that's when I should do the evade button. These guys had their little uh, robotic voices. I forget what they used to say in the uh, arcade, but it was a neat little uh, vocal sample. Ooh, right back at you, bub. Love these little details, like these little TVs with Black Steady and Bebop on there. Oh! Try to get away in time. Like another victory for the forces of good. I can't believe I haven't died yet. 
Maybe I should have ramped up the difficulty. Out of the way, you freak joints. Love these little semi-animated interludes. This must be side quests. Mutants over Broadway. Ah, the obligatory, uh, the particular in motion level. Let's keep our eyes on the road. Whoa. Oh, I'm loving this song. Oh my gosh, I gotta get the soundtrack. I love that the, uh, the laser sounds are very reminiscent of Space Invaders. When Leo gets hit, he also sounds a bit like Dirk the Daring from Dragon Slayer. But oof! Love juggling them.
It's kind of hard to get the depth perception right on this. I mean, you're dealing with 2D graphics that are sort of on a 3D plane. Tenderizer. Nice. Looks like another victory for the force of good. Cowabunga! I guess the only way to do six people would be Destroy the turtles. online. Just kind of curious to see how long I could get that going. Back at you, creeps. Oh, shit. drawn from the comics uh, and all the various iterations on TV, all the animated shows.
Oh, jeez. Uh, one of the criticisms of uh, side scrolling beat em up is that it can be repetitive, but I'll tell you, when it looks this good and the soundtrack is this rocking, I don't mind one bit. And it's, the gameplay's fun. I love a good beat em up. Can you dig it, suckers? public enemy. Oh. Completed a, a quest without even knowing it.
Oh. Just gotta make sure you destroy stuff in the environment. Oh, there we go. kind of secrets you might find. how I like it. certain kind of instrument that I guess you could, would call it percussion and you'd hear it in all the old school R&B songs you know from like 80s and 90s You gotta have some rocking 80s guitars and uh, 80s at the game. Whoa, big boy! amount of continues or what. Seeing as it's the story mode, I doubt it. I'll get infinite continues. I guess an arcade though would be a little bit more limited. Uh, 
here. Oh no. Mutant Yanni. What the? Ah! Even the music on the open map is pretty tight. Oh, it's Mysterio. Psych. Actually, an MCU uh, Turtles crossover would be pretty cool. I feel like there's, there's definitely been a, a DC crossover. I never did see it, but the Turtles teamed up with Batman for a movie. Music is fire. Oh, and I'm sure things like Shinobi. In revenge of Shinobi. that thing. Yeah, I guess not. Oh, jeez. Major. 
your promotion. Toads would like the word. Soldier looked uh, pretty pissed that I was messing up Thank his uh, shopping trip. Class. Oh no, don't beat up the arcade machines. Why would you make those destructible? That seems cruel. Oh, the old ball and chain. Guys, I've seen in uh, Secret of the Ooze.
incapacitating fart spray. Alright, almost there. One more time should do it. Hey, Lead Belly. I'm so sorry. I don't know um, when you made your comment, but um, I agree. The art style is amazing. Like, if there's any stress in this game, and it's fairly not stressful. Um, it's, it's all made okay with the art style. It's just so charming. Oh, 
here. So I can have to win. Come on. That's it. That's it. Yeah. Same for you, Bob. Come down. Assignment, but I love danger. Oh boy. Charging guys will be the death of me. Whoa, he blocked my charge? some pizza right about now. it's about at that time it's about at that time uh, I do English good uh, it's about that time um, I guess I'll go ahead and uh, stop at this point and pick it up next time uh, I assume I'm gonna look up how many levels that it is but maybe for next time like I could try you know switching it up uh, trying a different fighter with a different style maybe April or Master Splinter uh, I think you could unlock Casey, the hockey mask wielding dude, or wielding, or wearing dude. I um, guess he wields a hockey stick. Um, anyways, this has been a lot of fun. I love this game. I love the colors. I love the the pixelated graphics and the kicking soundtrack. It's, it's all um, so just, you know, hits you in the feels. Uh, it's got a nostalgic pull to it. Um, so anyways... I'm Johnny B with Tronathan. Um, if you join me today live, I appreciate you coming by. Uh, sorry, Led Belly, there earlier when I, I missed your comment. Uh, but, um, I get so caught up in the excitement of the game. Um, so, yeah, after I uh, circle back to this next week, uh, I think I have a break. I'll be away. 
And then when I get back, I'll probably uh, pick uh, the messenger back up. So let's see what I can do with that game. So anyways, uh, come check out. Uh, I'm under the Geeks Like Us umbrella. Come check us out on our other social media um, platforms. I run the Facebook page. We also have a Twitter presence and an Instagram. And a uh, pretty active uh, and accepting uh, Discord community. So just hit in any of us up if you want to get an invite there. And we'd love to have you. So thanks again. I hope you have a wonderful day. And uh, cowabunga, dudes.